Well, the context is uh, July and August were the two hottest months we've ever measured on this planet. And in fact, the scientists who look at the proxy records from before we had thermometers tell us that July and August were probably the two hottest months in the history of human civilization. So does the solar system respond to these exotic particles coming in? Because the source is coming close. The source of these waves is coming close. Now, close does not mean right there where you can see it. I can assure you that but prior to you seeing anything, this world is going to rumble like you never saw before. I'll tell you this. Exotic elements that are coming into the solar system, so will that darkness grow. Darkness will again be upon the face of the earth. And what was ancient will rise up again. Folks, you live in a very different time. Most of what I'm going to say to a lot of people, you won't believe. But then again, no one believes until something happens. And then when something happens, they seek out the source of those who knew. By that time, the sources have all, they're, they're all but gone. Thus, you're stuck in a place with no instruction, with things you cannot possibly believe, just like the undoing of the earth. There are signs all around you. The interiors of the earth. Everything is waking up. The earth right now is about to turn one degree. And what indication do you have of that? Does anybody have an indication of that? And it's not going to take a long time for the earth to shift at one degree. One degree in a tilt is huge. One degree. One degree is going to continue to change the weather in an abrupt way. The water will move. Melting will start. And this is what they always knew about. But why? You see, there are forces out there that mankind cannot comprehend. 2004, everything started. Why did it start in 2004? Because that was the impact of a magnetar. That's why. That was the impact of a magne magnetar. That's when the top of our atmosphere was ripped off by a wave sent by a magnetar. That's why. A piece of our atmosphere was ripped off and you didn't even know it in 2004. Nobody talked about that, did they? Anybody discuss that? No, they didn't. Oh, they had all the instrumentation in the world monitoring it. They were scared to death. They didn't know what would happen. They didn't know. But I'm telling you, they were deathly afraid because they saw it coming. They can see a lot of things coming. They're not going to tell you. For what good would that do? You would only get in the way. It is under the cover of global warming. I'll tell you this. The changes of the earth have nothing to do with humanity. And everything to do with truth. And it's covered over with a lie. Global warming. A key word.
deadly flooding in the south, killing at least six people in Louisiana. More than 20,000 people rescued and neighborhoods underwater this morning. A large part of that state facing a flooding disaster. Give me a knife, give me a knife. Watch this dramatic water rescue in Baton Rouge Saturday. I'm on the side, I'm drowning. We're coming, we're coming. Volunteers doing all they could as this woman's car filled with water. The rescuers bring the woman just in time. This was a record event. Even though it was an unnamed storm, it was historic levels of, of rivers uh, and creeks rising. Uh, and I will tell you that we, we've not seen anything like this in the past. God, there's just an earthquake. There's just an earthquake. I was on my bike, this dog was coming at me. And all of a sudden, the dog just stopped in his tracks, looked at the temple, and I felt the ground go up and down. And I look over, and this temple just crumbled. It was like a disaster movie. You know? <laughs> that's like, that's not real. Look at that, look at that. That, that used to have a top to it, and it fell forward. And look how the whole front of that is just gone.
something really, really, really big beyond Pluto exists because space rocks are moving out of the way, um, as well as it's causing misaligned positions uh, among the outer planets. The orbit of other celestial bodies seem to be responding to something. What that is, nobody can actually confirm just yet. I know there are still some folks back in Washington who refuse to admit that climate change is real. And on a day like today, it's hard to get too worried about it. There are folks who will equivocate. They'll say, you know, I'm not a scientist. Well, I'm not either. But the best scientists in the world know that climate change is happening. Our analysts in the intelligence community know climate change is happening. Our military leaders, generals and admirals, active duty and retired, know it's happening. Our homeland security professionals know it is happening, and our Coast Guard knows it's happening. The science is indisputable. Telling you that in 2004 everything changed, and that's why in 2005 they, the United Nations had the climate change conference. We know that climate change is the single most important environmental issue facing the world today. The scientific evidence on climate change from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change that met in Montreal in September and from many others, is more compelling than ever. We know that the longer we wait, the larger will be the challenge and the damage from climate change. The broad-based consensus is that more action is required now. Global warming, a key word used for the elite to grab their attention and foretell of meetings and everything else. Do you know what happened in 2004? That's when all the knowledge was solidified. That's when the observations took place. In 2004, everything was solidified. Preparations were made in the 1930s and 40s so they could survive. Yes, they have underground bases. Who doubts that? And this won't be a talk about the underground bases, but I'm telling you, they do exist. They do exist. I mean, everybody should know the common underground bases. The CFR for Greenbrier, built in 1958-1962, that was build time. It was to allow people to operate and sustain them for 60 days. Noran, Shrine Mountain, 1961-1965, build time. That's the Space Control Center, communications with the National Military Command. Iron Mountain, that's where the elite are protected. We can go on, China Lake, Mount Weather, Denver, Australia, Israel. They have underground bases there too. These things were built. Four to five year build time back then, what do you think it is now? How vast do you think these structures are now? And I tell you, they're preparing for something. You know it as global warming, which began in 2004. Do you not know in 2004, global warming was actually placed on NetGeo's uh, website, National Geographic, and it was also in Business Week. What's it doing in Business Week? And they give you the cover that somebody was trying to make money off of it. That was to throw you off the path. Let me tell you how they work. Can I just tell you how they work? Because global warming has to do with the exotic things that are coming into the solar system. They are intertwined, one in the same. Let me tell you how they work, though. Because you not having certain knowledges, you're kept in the dark about many things. You can only believe what you see, and so you buy the paradigm of which they place before you. When they get somebody that grows up in their educational systems, they cause them to believe in a lie, and thus they go out with a sincere heart and begin to fight for that lie. Global warming. You see how that works? They actually do believe in global warming, those spokespersons. Because they sincerely believe you can always detect the sincerity that's what keeps it plausible in your mind. It's important you understand this process. That's how they work. It's how they always have worked. 
It is under the cover of global warming. I'll tell you this. The changes of the earth have nothing to do with humanity. So does the solar system respond to these exotic particles coming in? Because the source is coming close. The source of these waves is coming close. Now, close does not mean right there where you can see it. I can assure you that but prior to you seeing anything, this world is going to rumble like you never saw before. For the day of the Lord has arrived. The time for the Almighty to destroy. Every arm is paralyzed with fear. Every heart melts and people are terrified. Pangs of anguish grip them like those of a woman in labor. They look helplessly at one another, their faces are slain with fear. For see, the day of the Lord is coming. The terrible day of his fury and fierce anger. The land will be made desolate and all the sinners destroyed with it. I watched as the land opened the first of the seven seals. Then I heard one of the four living creatures say in a voice like thunder, Come! Come and see! Then everyone, the kings of the earth, the rulers, the generals, the wealthy, the powerful, and every slave and free person all hid themselves in the cave and among the rocks of the mountains. And they cried to the mountains and the rocks. Fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb to the great day of their wrath and who can withstand it. And one of the interesting things to contemplate here is the ancient cultures, as we read, you know, the ancient pagan cultures, were terrified of the planet Mars. Uh -huh. Why were these ancient cultures, who had less, you know, sophistication than, uh, than we have, less interest in space, and in in, you know, we we think of mass. Why were they obsessed by it? They were obsessed. They, in fact, yeah, really yeah. terrified. They had priesthoods. They had whole r rites that were organized. And one of the reasons we discover is apparently. There's evidence that the planet Mars interfered in their lives on a on a, a periodic basis, so much so as to destroy cities, and and so forth. I cannot tell you who I am, or how I was able to obtain the photos. All I can say for now is that these photos are very real. These objects are heading towards us, and they will become visible to every human on Earth within the next couple of years. This is a matter of national security, and the governments of the world are trying their best to prevent global panic. They are also trying their best on how to deal with this unavoidable event. Yeah, she was. In the morning. 